Well, Thanksgiving is mere moments away, practically. Here it is on Thursday, and if you're planning a gathering for family and friends, you want it to be beautiful. You want a beautiful tablescape and creating a warm ambiance to gather around. Kim Moody, a top Virginia-based wedding and floral designer, is back with us, ready to show us how to create the perfect setting. Kim, these look beautiful, as do you. Thanks for being back. Thanks for having me. This feels like it would take me starting now to get ready for next November, <laughs> but you say this can be done. Right, so it's as much or as little time as you want to put into it. So um, we had Lindsay in our office this week on Friday spray painted some pumpkins for me. Um, these were locally sourced at Parish Pumpkin Patch. So that's one thing I wanted to bring up about Thanksgiving this year. There's three billion dollars that the um, Americans spend on Thanksgiving. So it's not just food, it's decor hostess gifts, linens, all types of things. So um, just make sure when you're purchasing this year that you try and focus your dollars locally. I know there's some things that have to be sourced at the big box stores, but the small businesses really depend on that. So That's a great way to go. Yeah, so all of these beautiful pumpkins are from Parish Pumpkin Patch in Dundas, and uh, we just used what we had around the office. So we did not spend a dollar buying anything, but we do keep a lot of craft supplies around. <laughs> you, you buy uh, spray paint by the gallon, <laughs> right, I'm pretty right, sure. Exactly. So um, we just started by spray painting different colors of pumpkins. So I know it's a big faux pas about mixing metallics, and I love to break that. So I wanted to focus on gold, silver, and rose gold this year. And then we are going to show you how it kind of ties into your traditional tablescape that you have at home for your dining room table already. And it creates a little more interest, right? It's not just all one color. I see even with your glassware, there's different kind of shades of the glass. Right, exactly. And so what we did was just, again, built with what we had. Um, but the glassware is just some pieces that my family's had. It's, you know, not anything fancy. And we went through and wrote cheers on each one. Mm -hmm. So instead of like the wine tag, that go in the glass you can actually just there's different fonts that each glass has so you'll know which one is yours. Is that a decal? Somebody didn't write that did they? We did this actually at a retail store trend mm. which is in Carytown and Blackstone um, so we just took the word cheers and put that in across all of those and then also just um, these are from our store as well but it just shows you don't have to have everything matchy matchy it can you can build some visual interest these are uh, could be candle holders or could be glassware lovely so. lovely lovely okay so that's a, a high top over there and then you're coming in and this is really cool did you do these you spray painted the other ones but for the glitter are you just how do you do that so um, just because I wanted everybody to know anybody can do this my two-year-old worked with me on Saturday Aww. doing these so he put all the glue that you see on everything so there literally is no wrong way to do it um, this one here, I let him paint with like a silver glitter paint and then he just flicked gold on top of it. And then I kind of went in and filled in the gaps where he missed some things. Well, it's beautiful. We have about two minutes and you've got so much going on here, but a great example of all the mixed metallics and then incorporating the flowers too. Yes, yeah, so um, we got our rentals from Rent Equip in Colonial Heights. And one thing that I wanted to show as far as the dishware goes is a lot of people kind of get nervous that they don't have a lot of pieces to match. You can rent this, all of these from locally sourced rental companies very inexpensively. Um, I chose the rose gold flatware to go with the pumpkins and the metallic. And there's no right or wrong way. So like I said, a two-year-old helped me with this. So all we did was just, we took some pumpkins that they had in the field, uh, produced locally, glittered them, painted them, and just kind of clustered them together. And then we just had some um, candle holders sitting around the office and vases that we spray painted to kind of build that. So that's kind of a little wedding trick of ours, but can also be used in your home as well. Spray paint solves all ills as far as I'm concerned. I was spray painting in the backyard this weekend. I always have gold at the ready. And right. so anything <laughs> that'll stand still, that's really great. Never once occurred to me to rent the place settings. And, and it solves that issue of like, oh, I want to be on trend, but I don't want to buy all that stuff right you, know, you can just rent it exactly and then this um, just really quickly tablescape wise this is just a really easy centerpiece we literally just took a bouquet that we had at the office and stuck some pieces down in it there's no right or wrong way next year we'll kind of work on doing those with the pumpkin Love show you it. teach you that 30 seconds left gifts for the hostess absolutely and for those of you that are not cooking this Thanksgiving um, you can shop locally this is all from our retail store trend but just wherever you purchase to shop locally this year um, these are just quick little gifts that you can give to the hostess who's doing Thanksgiving. So something like this, which is $8.99, just a, a simple thanks Love for thanking it. of you. You made it so easy, Kim. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, please, all day long. Thank you so much.